concern for another, as NG announced the Hazelwood Pondage will temporarily close for three months. We've become aware of an increased risk with the, uh, with the dam wall. One was the potential for soil liquefaction. We found that there, were, there was a lot of moisture within the wall. The sudden closure of the popular tourist attraction expected to hurt the region. It's like a bolt out of the blue and it's another challenge that we have to face uh, within our community. The Latrobe Valley Yacht Club has confirmed it's been forced to cancel the 2018 sauna sale held annually on the Queen's birthday weekend. Organisers have told Nine News they're shattered, but the safety of their sailors is paramount. The Hazelwood Pondage is a significant part of uh, our tourism package that we have for the city and uh, from a yachting point of view, from casual recreation. Charlotte Lamb, Nine News. Hazelwood community groups have been left reeling after Angers indefinitely closed the power station Pondage. The owners say deteriorating walls have made it unsafe for users. It's a hot spot for fishers and sailors alike, but they won't be allowed on the water of Hazelwood Pondage for the foreseeable future. So we'll start to lower the dam today. Um, we'll lower it uh, over the next uh, month or two by a metre or more. Onji today made the decision to close off the water of the pondage due to safety concerns. Deterioration of dam walls, the catalyst in the decision. And by lowering it a metre, then the, if the dam wall were to slump, that would prevent overtopping. They say an earthquake ranking six on the Richter scale would be enough to send the structure toppling. If that were to occur, then there would be potential displacement of the wall. Uh, the wall would lower and displace to the side and you'd get water overtopping. Members of the Latrobe Valley Yacht Club have told Wind News they're devastated with the decision. With the sauna sales expected to take place over the Queen's birthday long weekend, it'll now be months before they can reschedule. So that's terribly disappointing because obviously it's a huge event annually each year over the Queen's birthday weekend. I've raised these issues in Parliament and with the Government earlier in the year about what is the future of Hazelwood Pondage. And to hear this news today um, is, is really disappointing. The pondage is expected to be closed for at least three months while works on the damaged structure are completed. Louis Gillett, Wind News.